sister Emily's nursery and we're doing our next project and this project is actually a custom fitted crib skirt. So if you pan down you'll see that we've got a geometric pattern that's been hemmed to the floor and what's great about a crib skirt is that you can hide anything under the bed and it becomes a great little storage place for diapers or toys or um, out of season clothes but you might not feel like sewing. So I didn't either. I didn't use a sewing machine or even a needle or thread and I'm going to teach you how I did it. And you can see that we already did two of them, but we just got a third one to do. So let's get started. Okay, so now it's time to measure how wide and how tall we need our skirt to be. So right up against the crib from leg to leg, we pull a tape measure taut and we see that it's 27 and a half inches exactly. And then we go from the bed frame to the floor and we see that it is 21 inches exactly. And now we want to keep in mind that we don't cut our fabric to that size. That's the finished size, but we want to leave a few inches on either side and on the bottom to accommodate a hem. So here we have our awesome geometric skirt fabric. And this is actually our bedding fabric from Target. It was $7 on clearance. And you can see how the dark tones in the mattress cover are mimicked in the skirt fabric, and the lighter blue is as well. So we just love how these two play off of each other. But on to how we made the skirt. You're going to flip your fabric so it's back side up, and instead of using a sewing machine, we used Heat and Bond, which you can get at any craft store. We got ours at Michael's. It's super affordable. We got the Ultra Hold, and it's an iron-on adhesive. So all you do is you pop it out of the package, have your iron ready. It should be hot. This one's not because we're just recording, and I'm not coordinated enough to record with a live iron. But you place it with the paper side up. And remember, we've left an extra inch on the bottom and on the sides of this so that once it's hemmed, it's the perfect size. So paper side up, you place it, you follow the lines if you're doing a geometric to make sure that it looks straight when it's finished. And with the paper side up, you apply some heat to it until you feel the glue, the sticky side down, bond to the fabric. That's, it should take about three or four seconds. Then you wait a little bit for it to cool and peel the paper back. And what that will do is leave another exposed side of sticky facing up. So then you'll have this ribbon of stick that you will then be able to fold over your fabric onto that sticky part and heat it to bond it. And what will happen is you'll end up with a very finished uh, washable, it's the best thing ever, heat and bond. You can wash it, babies can throw up on it, it's perfect, edge. And so your edge will last you as long as if you sewed it and you don't need to whip out a needle and thread. So we did that on the bottom and on the two sides and we left the top raw. And we're gonna explain why in a second because you have to affix that part to the crib. So here we are with our bed skirt in place. It's attached to the bed and it's hemmed so that it just grazes the floor for easy storage and it looks really seamless and professional. But how did we affix it to the bed? We thought maybe about using some ties or some sort of a bungee contraption, but in the end we said don't fight it, let's just use Velcro. Little Velcro rectangles along the fabric and along the frame of the mattress come together to hold it firmly in place. We used maybe four or five of those across this width and attached it seamlessly. And the great thing about Velcro is you can just tear it off, throw it in the wash, do whatever you need to do and reattach it very easily. And as the mattress moves down, we realized that the skirt would have to be able to be made shorter. As the baby grows, the mattress will be lowered. So we just added an extra few pieces of Velcro at a smaller, lower to the ground increment on the skirt so that when the mattress gets lowered, it can still be attached to these rails and look seamless and graze the floor at the right length. So all we have to do now is bring in the mattress with our little elephants on it, place it on the bed, and see how it looks with our new skirt. So that's the last step. So here we are with our crib sheet in place on the mattress. We're just going to drop the mattress into place and see how it looks on our little crib skirt. So, palms away. Voila! Mattress in place. And you can see it landed seamlessly and we see that there are no strings or raw edges and it looks professional and this is tucked in and everything just looks like it was meant to be together, which is always a plus when you're doing something. You don't want it to look like you used Velcro and iron on tape. So we love that this has a polished, finished look, and we really love that little skirt because now Emily can shove a bunch of stuff under there and no one's the wiser and we are all about concealed storage. So that ends this project, but certainly doesn't end the nursery makeover. We have a lot more in store for you, so stay tuned.